Hello everyone and welcome back to Piano Secrets. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Canon in D and this will be a full tutorial. The first thing that you should know is the D major scale. D major is like this. Every melody is gonna come up from one of those tones. Now, when we talk about the left hand, we're going to talk about harmony. And we have a chord like this, a D major chord. D, A, D, F sharp. An A major chord. So then we have A, E, A, C sharp. A B minor. B, F sharp, B, D. an F sharp minor a G major a D major again a G major and an A major And then this will start over on D. So now you, what you could do is start practicing with the rhythm so we could start doing each chord and counting four beats. So one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. This song is gonna use the left hand to play those notes, so that way we could use the right hand to play the melody. And they made up this pattern the same notes but split, so it will be like this one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, and then it will repeat. How do I remember which chord to play? Well, you not only have to know the scale, but also have to know each chord. So the first chord from the scale is D major, D F sharp A, and it translates over here. The thing is we rearrange the notes. So how do we rearrange the notes? The D below, the D here is the same note, the A is here, and the F sharp crossing over, so I have this. So for each chord I'm going to show you is always the same technique and it's important that you realize that so that way you can memorize and eventually this is what cuts the time. So D major, remember that. Now the second chord from the scale, we don't use it but I'm going to go through it, is E minor. We do not need to know this one. The very next one is F sharp minor. We do use it in one of the patterns. The fourth chord is G major. We use it when we play this notes. You can see that all white notes. A major. We use it within the song also. Then we have B minor. We use it also here. The sixth chord. Then we have C sharp diminished. We do not use this. And then we get to D. And the song starts here. Now to add the melody is fairly simple. Now that you know the chords, you could say, well, the song starts on F. D major is like this. So we take the F sharp from here and we have the first melody. When we do the second chord, which is A, we take E from it. We take the D from G major. Take the C sharp from F sharp minor. We 
take the B from G major. We take the A from D major. D major is like this. We take the B from G. And we take this C sharp from A major. So if the melody doesn't spell out the chord changes, then it's a bad composition. But if the melody sounds beautiful and it spells out the chord changes, then it's just a beautiful composition. So now I'm going to just play this first part. Okay? I hope this is clear to you. If not, comment below. We'll answer any questions you might have. Now, next part. Now that you know this, all we're going to do is reinforce it with more notes. We're going to do two voices. So instead of having this, now we know that's D major. So we could add the D. And we repeat the same thing. When we had A major, we add the C sharp. Same notes, all of it. We just add one extra note. The B, we add it from G. F sharp, we added the A, double notes. We added the G. So, when we have D, we just play this now. When we have A, we play this now. G, we play the two notes on the top. And when we have a, a F sharp minor, we play these two notes. So each time we're grabbing notes from the chord. So I'm going to run through one time and then we'll go to the next part. Part, it's gonna be like this. Okay, and the only variation is that we take this chord, we brought it up an octave, and then we just get rid of that F sharp, and we do the same for all of them. So that means if I play D. Now I'll play in this way. If I play A, now I take the C sharp off and then play this way. It's easier now the left hand. If I play B minor, I play in this way. F minor, F sharp minor, I play this way. G. G and A. So I'm gonna play one time all the way through and you can count one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Let's talk about the melody now. D major scale was like this. So that's the first one. And it's fairly simple because every note matches. Done. Second line. Also matches here. Each note. Together, so you could kind of do the same down movement in each hand because it's the same. Next one, together each time. Then we have right hand, with next one.
Next one. We have two half notes there. One, two, one, two, and with A. Okay. All together will be matching each note. You have to know the left hand very well. Learn the melody. Four notes at a time. Put it together. And then you get this. I hope this is clear to you. Let's continue to the next part. So when we play this, we have to maintain the left hand the same way from before. So on the uh, passage before this, we did this. D major, A major, same notes. B minor, F minor, same left hand. So the work you did is going to work here. D major, G, and A major again. And that's it. So what you really have to learn now is the actual melody. So we're going to still think on this, on the D major position. So and then you can see the rhythm. And then the scale. Maybe what I'll do is do it slowly so you can see. Scale. Okay, notice that when we do this, we keep the same position here, and one note is slower than the other, so that's A. Quicker, so this is a quarter note and eighth notes. Sometimes you could loop each part, so let's say you could just practice this. And that's enough. Next part. That's it. You try to find out perfectly finger. Next part. That's it. Because then it's a leap. Now we have to accomplish this. Until there. Next part. Break it here. Then it's going to repeat but with a little changes in it. Now when you do it together, we'll have this now. Matches every other note. Every other note. Together. Matches, matches. And then we go back. Now if we speed it up, we get this. So in the next section, we're going to have the same, but we're going to double up the notes. So the first time we did this. But now we're going to change it and add an extra note. You could add the extra note or don't add them. So we could add the F sharp here. Same thing. Double notes here. And that's it. 
and then here it's going to change when we play that A. A little bit, not too much. So let's practice now each part like we did the other one. First double notes, F sharp A. That's one part. You could practice that, loop that around, do it three times. And then we have... So the only difference is we do double notes at the end, D, F sharp, keep going, and we add that at the end. So all together that, remember that every leap you should replace the hand and do a change there, a change on practicing and you go to the next part. So it's important that you do first finger on that switch there. So then it allows you to free the hand for the next part. And that's different. Okay, last time. Go to the next one. One more time. On the eighth notes, it's important that we always emphasize a little bit the first one so that helps you play it. So the four, when you do this, so you're emphasizing this one, release, the emphasize. Sometimes you might get that the articulation, you might miss a note or something, or you might get stuck. So it's because of that. So loud, soft. And then it goes back there. All together, right hand. Switch. Then we go back to same notes. Now you have the left hand from the passage before so we're gonna just review those and do it together very slowly. So we have this. Together on the quick notes, always think that you have to match every other note. For instance, this one matches, but then we play two notes against the A. Now, every other note. And you could practice up to that point. You should split this. So I'm going to show you two measures how to practice. So let's say you practice this. And you should be happy with just that and do it as good as you can do it. Then you could go to the next one, but don't try to cramp all of them. I always pick a small section. If a small section is still too much, then grab a few notes. And even if the few notes are still too much, you just grab one note and say, can I just match that? Okay, thank you very much. So you match that, and then you say two more notes more. Okay. Then I could add this one. Then I could add a little bit more. And that's it. So always split all this information I've given you and work it out very slow until you can get it. I'm gonna play through now, slowly. Every other note. Mm -hmm. 
So there is a lot of work right there that you should be doing, just like we did on the other measure. The only reason I play all the way through is because I'm trying to I have only an hour at the most and I try to put as much as I can. But uh, little snippets, little snippets, little bits of it and you get there. Now the next part I'm going to play a little bit before I start working on it. But remains the same. Let's, let's see. <laughs> with the left hand D A B minor F sharp minor G D again G and A right hand we have kind of straight notes sometimes we have double notes Notice there how the C natural is like kind of flat a little bit and uh, creates a nice uh, combination. Now the match is fairly simple. It's, I think it can be simpler than this because every note matches unless when we have two beats. Let's say the first one has two, and then matches everything. Two now. Matching. We run the left hand like when we started. Now, this is going to repeat another time, but a little bit more with more excitement. So we have the same in this way. is the same I don't have to worry about that but the left hand remember when we started we did this combination now we're gonna bring it up here and what we're gonna do is the same chord the only thing is to put them into rhythm we have to double up because now instead of four notes we have eight notes and that's what they're called eighth notes so we have one Three, four, one. So I think that you have to know the chords very well at the beginning of the song to be able to play this. And then you think that you're doing eight eighth notes and you're trying to play double the speed basically. So we have this. When we do it on A, we do this. Minor, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, one. Okay, so this is gonna keep repeating, and there is another part that we're gonna talk about it now. But first, I think you should understand that you should know this well because you're supposed to play like this. But it's simple if you did the work before. Now, when you do it together, your matching of the notes is going to be spaced out a little bit more. I'm going to try to do it very slow for you so you can see it. So, so the D matches. Matches, 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 matches. So 
pretty much we match the first one. I'm gonna give you one pattern so you can figure out all the rest. So match, run the left hand, get to F sharp. The flip when we go back, we match every other note. And then we switch to A. Match, 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 and together again. Together. note same from before each note every other note back now it's going to change a little bit but it's going to paraphrase a little bit with the same excitement what we did before and then we're going to continue building up towards the end now what you have to understand same work for the left hand so we'll have these notes A major same sequence B minor F sharp minor G major D major G major again It's important that maybe uh, right now you're taking some notes and writing all the chords uh, trying to memorize somehow this because it's not if you're gonna look each time you're gonna play each note it's gonna be a little bit difficult now let's do a little bit the melody for this part now double notes All of those chords are part of the inversions, sometimes from G, like this, the D major, the same chord here. So it matches on the same places that the other passage that we did before. So if you did that one very well, then you can do this one. If you have trouble with that one, then this will be a little bit more difficult. You have to regroup. So. Match, 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 match. Match. is clear to you the speed will be like this okay so let's continue now and this left hand is gonna remain the same for the most part let me do the left hand now go to A major minor, F sharp minor, G major, D major, G major again, and A. So now you can see that by just saying the name it triggers something on the brain and I know exactly where I'm going. I'm grabbing that note and doing the arpeggio because I know my scales and chords. So now if you have the D, all we're gonna do here is the inversion and run that up and down. You can see the chord there. So root chord, first inversion, second inversion, and, and an A, 
we have the pattern that I like to play here. So I play A. Maybe I play it so you could see how it, what it sounds like. So here you can see that what I'm using is the D major chord, first inversion, second inversion, and I bring it up. So the pattern I'm doing is. First pattern you should learn. That's it. Then you can put that together, both hands. Each note matches, so it's fairly simple. That's it. And you could do it a few times, whatever it takes, you know. Now, when we go to the A major chord, what we do is outline a little bit the melody from before, so we do this. To a B, to an A, to a G, and we get to F. And you can rewind it, I'll do it again over and over, and when you do it together will be this. Okay, so each note matches, so it's very simple if we do it together. Okay, now next pattern. If we take the B minor chord and we add an extra note, we can move that around also. And add the B minor arpeggio on the left hand, like we were practicing. Next part of the right hand. So it's always going one up and then descending. Together, one by one. You shouldn't have any problems with this. Together now. Here we're gonna go to a G. So a G is like this. We add the D here and then we play D first. And to that we add the G major. That's it. Then when we go to D we have this pattern. Again inversions, right? Melody on the top. So maybe this is the hardest part, which we have to rotate towards the F sharp. It's a great distance here, rotation, and then we get there. So when you play it together with we'll this, and you get the G. Now here, notice that we're getting to G. Right hand pattern. All the inversions there of G. Same like before. This is the hardest interval. Rotate. Take your time to get there. Don't rush it. Together. And then we get to A. get to the D and we have octaves so octave octave to C sharp and D together from A and 
then we're gonna get to the ending. I think I'm gonna play very slow all the way through so you can have a sense of what it is like slow and then I'm gonna just play it quickly. So, let's do it very slow. Each note matches. Melody on the top. Change to B minor. Another thing, you could play A and then start softer. When you have a low line, start a little bit lighter, increase the volume and release. And it will help you technically to play it because you're not wasting energy playing everything loud. You should play a lot of soft in your playing and now and then increase to a point where it's really talking a little bit louder. So if you do it, see that I play A, I increase and release. and release same thing like a wave kind of let's do it one last time of the value creates tension we need a little bit of tension but it should be released somewhere we can't get tense all the time so when you play this increase the tension release same here increase So the end is going to be like this now. So that will be the ending and you can see that the left hand stays the same. So we keep doing eighth notes <clears throat> a little bit faster than before. Okay, melody for this. We have the D. And it's important that you bring the D here to create tension. Arpeggio. Tension again. Resolving. To G. Tension on G. And then splitting. The right hand is gonna, and the right hand is gonna take on here. If we do it together, we have this now. Tension, arpeggio, matches each note. We land, matches, arpeggio. Just every four notes, every other note, and then I play just here, and you can speed it up. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe also let us know in the comments below how did you do with the song thank you